What is going on everybody? Today I wanted to show you guys my personal class setups. I figured um, people might be interested in some of the guns that I've found that are particularly good in the game, some of the score streaks that I use, um, and generally just looking at my stats as I now hit just over halfway uh, towards second prestige. Um, so I'll go ahead and we'll run through my classes first. So the first class that I'm going to go through is my submachine gun class. This is going to be the GKS. This is my go-to submachine gun. It's just such an amazing all-round SMG, whether it's close range, medium range, uh, long range. I just find this gun to be so reliable. Um, close range, it lacks a little bit just because the fire rate sometimes isn't quite there. As you can see, the fire rate is fairly high, to be fair. It's just not... It's one of the slower ones. I think it maybe is the slowest in its category. Uh, the magazine's not too bad, actually. It's got the second highest magazine, I believe. Yep, second highest magazine in its class. Um, the attachments I go for is long barrel grip and then grip two and grip long barrel two. Now, if you're not familiar with these second tier attachments, basically each attachment has its own. Um, if we look on the left, it's got a description. So a long barrel will give increased damage fall off ranges. So basically what that means is that if I shoot somebody at 10 meters, I'm going to do, let's say, 25 damage per bullet. Now with long barrel, if I hit them at 15 meters, I'm still going to do 25 rather than dropping down to 22, if that makes sense. Um, if we go to long barrel 2, what that's going to do is it's going to increase muscle velocity, which means that bullets hit their targets faster. Now, it's not rapid fire. They don't come out of the, ch they don't like more bullets don't come out of the chamber, if that makes sense. So if I hold the trigger down for five seconds, let's say 10 bullets come out with rapid fire, 15 bullets might come out but with long barrel 2 what's going to happen is if I shoot someone it's going to take 0.1 seconds to hit them whereas with this it's going to take 0.01 seconds to hit them if that makes sense I'm trying to explain this as best as I can um, so that's very crucial for me personally um, with the grip 2 uh, obviously you've got standard grip reduced recoil while aiming down sight everybody knows whereas with this you get reduced flinch as well and minimize recoil when aiming before firing you know just some stuff that's going to help you while moving around quickly while being in those gunfights to just kind of keep your aim steady especially when it comes to a little bit of distance it's going to help a heck of a lot so that's what i go for um in i never run a secondary i don't know why people run secondaries the gear at the moment stim shot just seems to be the most effective body armor is okay but um you stim shot is just it's just a clutch it's just a clutch thing you know it's a crutch perk at the end of the day you know you're gonna want to be able to get your health back to full especially because the regen on this just is non-existent so stim shot is pretty much basically all you're going to be using in terms of perks i like to throw on scavenger because i'm going to be in your face you know running around spawns i need to be picking up more ammo so that's a crucial one for me and then this one it's either a mix between ghost and dead silence um at the minute i'm using ghost because everyone's a low level everyone's going to be using the basic kill streaks it's going to be a lot of uavs um and it also you know it just it just helps it's you know the um, like i say everyone's going to be using uavs just throw on ghost it makes it a whole lot easier obviously you know you've got typical wild cards to help support that the second class is my ar class so this one's going to be the icr7 for me personally it's just the ar that i go to i know a lot of people like this rampart 17 it's kind of a mix between the um scar h and uh, other types of scars that have been in in the past it's just one of those it's a pretty decent weapon but as you can see apart from the damage the icr just outclasses it in every division i mean the magazines more there's less recoil the damage just isn't as much but you know i mean it's like one or two sections like it basically means nothing it's just my go-to weapon anyway obviously you know we've got red dot sight grip grip two as we explained and then long barrel now if we do have another attachment um you know you maybe could throw on laser sight 
Um, but that's pretty much it. You're not going to need much else. And then everything else is pretty much the same as last time. Although this time we've got lightweight, which is move faster while sprinting and take no fall damage. So this is going to help me as I'm the AR. You know, it's going to help me just to move that a little bit more. Um, you know, just to move that a little bit quicker, just to get to those different power positions while being an AR. Because I'm not into sort of anchoring. If I'm an AR, I'm sort of making my way through the map fairly slowly, but still heavily in your face, heavily rushed. Because that's just my playstyle. And to be honest, that's it. All the other classes are blank. I don't use any other classes because they're the only two I go for. And to be honest, I don't know if I can look at... Um, the statistics for the specific gun. Um, it, can I see the kill counter that's on there? I don't know if I can. Uh, I'll have to have a look and find out how many kills I've had for that one. But if we go over to score streaks, I'm using UAV can, UAV lightning strike at the moment. Sometimes I take off lightning strike if I'm not feeling it, and I just throw UAV can, UAV just because. I basically play support, you know, I mean, I would use the dart if it was more a hunter killer drone type type of thing, then I would use it, but other than that, these are just too high to, you know, you might get one or two, maybe three maximum a game, whereas with these, I could just chain these, I could be throwing in, I could be throwing up seven UAVs a game, you know, at 500 points, it's, it's not, no big feat that that would happen, uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, if I go over to my stats, you can see on the right we've got my actual statistics. Um, so a 2.4 win loss, uh, 2.5 KD, 33 kills a game average, 9% um, chance of getting a headshot, and 19 is my highest current kill sheet. Now that's because I play a lot of... Um, Oh, what's it called? It's it's right here. Control. And the rounds are very, very quick. You you barely get a chance to sort of complete any any amount of kill streak. Um the if I could just explain the direct action kills, that's kills that you have got. So for example, if you shoot somebody four times and kill them, that's a direct action kill. If you shoot them once and somebody else kills them, then it's just count it just counts as an EKIA. So if we were to work it out, I've pro you know, if we were to do it roughly, I've had a thousand assists is basically what that's saying. But you don't get assists on this game, you just get kills. So that's pretty cool to be fair. Um you can see that I've played for twelve hours, forty four minutes and forty six seconds, and I'm first prestige level thirty three. Um two hundred and two headshots, you know, this sort of stuff is just basic um, you know, the game's not been out for very long. We've not, I've not had the chance to sort of go through everything. Lots of Kingslayers, double kills. You know, the game's pretty fast paced for what it is. If just go through, show you the stuff. It's all there. Um, you know, there's no anti score streaks. I've never shot anything down, I don't think, to be honest. Um, challenges, I'm 48% of the way through there, you know, tw nearly 20% through. Uh, the whole of multiplayer anyway um, I don't really go with anything else uh, in terms of sensitivity if you're interested in that I play on a 4x4 with tactical flipped just because I play claw even though I've got a scuff but you know that's just what it is um, and a little bit of uh, clarification as to what happens when you prestige uh, you get obviously the option to reset all your stats you also get a permanent unlock token now the way this permanent unlock token works because I wasn't sure basically what happens is you have to get to level you have to get to rank 9 and then what it is is you come to this screen and then you scroll along with the d-pad or the thumbstick and you select one you let's say we wanted to get some, we wanted to unlock this you'd hover over this section and just hit X you just hit X and that would permanently unlock it for you. It took me a while to figure that out because I just hadn't clocked that that was what what it was. Um, it's a shame that we can't look at the leaderboards. I'd love to see where I was uh, in comparison to everybody else. I've not seen anybody anywhere near my level yet. Um, I know there's people on YouTube. There's always somebody on YouTube that's sort of a much higher level. But I mean, you know, when I go into lobbies and stuff, the highest I'm seeing is 35. You know, I rarely see 40s. And if I do, it's very, very early 40s. I've not seen a 50 or higher. I've not seen a 50 or higher. Definitely not. Um, the highest I've seen is 49. 
so it would be interesting to see um, other than that there's not a lot else I can show you to be honest um, I just thought I'd give you guys an update on classes update on where I am my current stats it'll be interesting to come back in a couple of months and see how my stats have changed I'll have to do a comparison video of some sort that would be pretty cool to look at but anyway I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already as always guys I'll catch you in the next one peace